In this video, we will look at another UI library. Over the past few videos, we have been looking at UI libraries such as ChatC and UI and Astonity UI, which is heavily inspired by ChatC and UI. So in this video, we are bringing a new one on this channel, which is called as Magic UI. And what I like about this is this is heavily animation based UI library. All, almost all of these components are animated and I think these are pretty cool. These give a very cool look to your website. There are not a lot of components right now, but I think that the components that are available are so good that you might like want to use all of the components inside your web app. So I want to show you the actual website. It says UI library for design engineers, 20 plus free and open source animated components built with React, TypeScript, Tailwind, CSS and Frame of Motion. So here we can just click on get started and read more. So it just say create magical landing pages with components that you can copy and paste into your app. So from the text, we can get to know that this is primarily made for like landing pages. Of course, who is stopping you from using it in other places? But yeah, I think most of the components here are made for like some fancy landing page stuff. So yeah, Magic UI is a collection of reusable components that you can copy paste in your web apps and uh, yeah there's a lot of different things uh, i think you can like just go ahead and read all of this i will leave the link in the description but in the end it says this library hev is heavily inspired by chat c and ui which follows the like same thing where you can just copy and paste the components inside your app and it will just work out of the box so in this video we are going to look at a few components we are going to see how you can install this in your next.js application and we are going to try out a few components I think this is pretty cool. I have used this before. So yeah, I'm really excited to show this on this channel. All right, first thing first, we need to create a Next.js application. So I'm just gonna say bun X, create next app. And I'm gonna name it magic UI demo. And since this heavily relies on Tailwind, I'm also going to use Tailwind, uh, TypeScript yes, ESLint yes, Tailwind yes, SRC yes, app router yes, uh, importantly yes, no, whatever. And yeah, once this is done, uh, we already have Tailwind, so we do not need to go through the process of installing Tailwind CSS into this project. Now we can just go into Magic UI demo, and now we need to install a few more things. So if you go to the installation part here, we will see React.js. We need to do a few installations because Magic UI heavily relies on Frame of Motions, which they used for use for animations. So we need to also install a few things which can help. Uh, magic UI to its work properly. So we are going to uh, copy this and we are going to install these packages. So I'm going to do, and this, these are developer dependencies. So I'm going to do bun install dash D. We already have Tailwind CSS, so I'm not going to install it. Perfect. Some, are, some of these are Tailwind uh, helper libraries. So yeah, only one is frame of motion, which is going to be actually used for animations. Now it's asking us to create this utils.ts file. I'm just going to copy this. And first of all, let's go ahead and open Visual Studio code here. Perfect. Now what I want to do is I'm going to push it to another desktop so that we can easily switch. And now I'm going to open the SRC folder. In SRC folder, I'm going to create a new folder called as utils. And here I'm okay, actually this is this is supposed to be lib. So, oh, oops, <laughs> I'm going to re rename this to lib and now I can create a new file called as utils.ts and I'll just paste the contents. We won't need to uh, worry about it anymore. And now we can go back and uh, we can, the third step is like basically just inst install the components. So we can just go to any component page and follow the instructions there. You need to just copy paste the components you need, no bloat or third party dependencies. So we can just go ahead and check out the different components. There's like an animated beam, uh, which I think pretty is cool for a landing page, right? You can like showcase all the integrations you have with your software. Uh, border beam, I think this one looks cool as well. <laughs> if you have like a screenshot you want to glorify, I think you, this is the best way to do it. Shine border, I think this is very good for like um, this is not exactly a button, but I think this is good for some buttons, which is, which has some like action to it. Some like getting started button or something like that. Uh, there are a lot of different things. Uh, I will leave the link for you to check out. Uh, there's a new confetti here. 
which is pretty neat confetti i must say <laughs> and in particles uh this is a uh, this is a pretty good one also so these are mostly like black particles i think we we can change that not sure uh, uh looking at the code i uh, i think we cannot but like if you dig deep you should be able to change that anyways so yeah uh you also have text animations here like you have sparkles text which i, I think is it's all right i'm not a big fan of it but anyways in cool mode oh yeah <laughs> i mean who doesn't like this okay animated subscribe button yeah i think yeah I, i think it's cool and what i like about this is like the backgrounds uh you can simply plug it in and uh, i think it uh, brings a huge change to your home page so like this uh, animated grid pattern i think this looks amazing this like a retro grid i think which also looks amazing like if you are creating a home page for a game okay i am very terrible at it but like if you are like some metaverse home page i think this might be good for it ripple i think this can be good for like some meditation apps I, okay i'm that's done i'm just going to briefly show you i'm not going to just invent use cases automatically but yeah i think these looks these look pretty cool and i think we will start with some kind of background i haven't used retro grid in any of my web apps till now so i think this would be a good experiment so first of all we need to actually modify the tailwind.config.js so we need to add the theme one so i'm just going to copy that part and uh, we are going to add the theme oh, so we already have it so okay in extend we need to add animation and keyframes then all right i think this will work and then we need to create a new component i'm going to copy this file in component/magicui/retrogrid.tsx so uh not in app i need to create a new folder in src i'm going to call it components uh magic ui i mean it's the of thing if you don't want to create a folder that's fine as well uh retro grid dot tsx i'm just going to paste this uh the import is uh, yeah the import is working one note um uh, before i used this on wheat and these imports are basically made for like next year's thing so like Uh, if the imports are wrong you might need to fix them before using it in your application if you are using something like wheat or ha don't have these uh, at the proper place like the lib uh, we have this lib folder if you have it in a different place you might need to change your imports accordingly so i think these are fine and i think we can just go ahead and paste .tsx i want to see what happens okay all right i'm going to go ahead and do bun dev turbo because why not I think it should just work. Starting. Let's wait for this. Even at turbo this is not really fast. My my machine is really struggling this with. Okay. We are just going to go to localhost 3000. And I'm going to try to add the retro grid here and see how it does. All right, so this is the most simple setup. We have a main tag, we have a retro grid component, and we have also wait a class name of BG Black because the lines weren't really visible. And uh, yeah, uh, if we look at it, this is like this. I'm not sure if you can look at the screen. If you have a really potato screen, you might really not see it. But uh, this is how it looks. It's pretty new. Uh, the grid somehow wends at one point, but I think they will work on it. I think uh, there is some things you can change yourself as well. uh but yeah i think this is a very good start uh you could like customize it to your needs and really make it a perfect one so that you really do not need to worry about it and i think uh, after looking at the component itself there's configuration for light and dark mode which we haven't configured yet in our application so i think that's why we have to give it like a background black for it visible uh but yeah i think uh, it's working i i really encourage you to go ahead and do some tinkering around with all of these components all right so i did some playing around more and this is the grid background from magic ui so if we go back to the documentation uh this is the text reveal one which we are using in this and uh, there's also a grid pattern which we have used uh with the basic configuration with no additional changes at all 
and uh, we have used the text reveal one uh, where did text reveal go all right here uh, something like this and uh, yeah this is the end result when we scroll down it says welcome to test page it's not the perfect one i haven't really done any kind of styling any kind of like dark mode configuration or anything like that uh, this is just the basic thing typically when you are creating a landing page you might need to like keep a lot of different things in mind when it comes to styling uh, but this is just the basic code which i have done i have just like give it a position and give the grid pattern a position of fixed and then i just had a text reveal by world component which i just copy pasted and i just have welcome to test page uh, the use client is really not necessary. I was just debugging something and that's why I had it, but it's really not that necessary because the component is already a client component. So, oops, where is it? Yeah, it is a client component. You see, it says use client. Perfect. So yeah, this is how magic UI works. I'm pretty sure they are going to add a lot of new components over time. And I uh, really lo am looking forward to those because uh, if I'm creating some kind of side projects on this YouTube channel, I probably might use these components for my landing pages because it's easy and uh, it looks really good. So yeah, so yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you really like this video and learn something new. I hope Magic UI is very useful for you in your side projects when you're creating landing projects or heck even like production projects. I think this is a really good library. All of the components are open source so you can copy paste the code anytime you want and nobody will have a problem with that. So yeah, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I know that I have been really inconsistent with my YouTube channel lately, but I have a few things which are going on in my life right now. So I cannot reveal those just yet, but um, trust me over time, this is just going to be worth it for me. and. I'm pro uh, eventually going to post a lot of content on this channel. So yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope you guys support me with what I'm doing right now. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave that in the comments below so that I'm really up to date with all of the content you guys really want on this channel. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> this bye was just lame. <laughs>